All right, so this is our dishwasher. It is a stainless steel GE, and I think we have hard water issues. Let me show you. <laughs> if you look at our dishwasher, you see all of that buildup. So this is, we've only been using this literally for a year. So we are going to try putting a half cup of CLR solution into it and, uh, and see what happens. I mean, I don't expect this to magically disappear, but as you can see, maybe it might just, hopefully that CLR can break it down to where maybe we can go in there and scrub a little bit better. But this thing is caked. So let's see what it does. All right, so here's the CLR, and we're gonna pour in half a cup or four ounces. Look at that. All right, so we're just gonna pour it straight into the bottom of the dishwasher. And we're gonna run it on one normal cycle, see what happens, and then we're gonna do another normal cycle after that to get it all out of the system. Let's do it. All right, so the first cycle had just finished up and I'm gonna show y'all what happened. So it doesn't visibly look that much cleaner. However, This stuff comes off whoops, a lot easier with my fingernail. You see that? Before, it, it was pretty tough to get off with the fingernail. So, like, if, say, I take a, a brush and just do that. It does come off a little bit better. But still, it's... It's pretty much on there. So, we're going to try to run it one more time with this cleanse cycle to see what happens. And uh, I'll do another video to see. If the rinse cycle one more time helps or not. Alright, so I do want to show what it looks like now that we've ran a load through. I do believe the culprit was excessive dish soap. Um, granted, this area still needs some work, but, uh, but this whole area is starting to look a little better and that where we scrubbed earlier looks better. And I think as a whole, if we go back through, run CLR again, um, we could get probably rid of all this and it will be nice and shiny like the day we got it. <laughs> so, um, so there, I mean, there is some hard water you can tell for sure, but main culprit is that dirty boy, palm olive, and uh, just leaving that residue behind, but that's mainly user error. I don't think it's a dishwasher error, but um, we just need to go back through and really scrub down there and get that excess soap off. But uh, if your dishwasher does look like this, don't assume it's hard water. Some of it might be, but a lot of that is just soap scum and uh, just needs a little bit of cleaning and uh, so that this thing can uh, have a much longer life without um, ignoring it. Because if you ignore it, you could start clogging stuff and uh, you'll have maybe an $800 problem on your hands. So uh, spend an extra time cleaning and making sure that everything's running properly and the dishwasher should work for a long time. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them.